Number one, the moose deer. The moose or elk is the world's tallest, largest and heaviest extant species of deer and the only species in the genus Alces. Moose are found in the northern regions of the United States, from Maine to Washington, throughout Canada and into Alaska. Due to their large size and insulating fur, moose are limited to cold climates and forested areas with streams and ponds. Number two, the red deer. The red deer is one of the largest deer species. You can distinguish red deer by their reddish brown fur, which grows thicker and more gray in color in the autumn and is shed in the spring. The red deer are found throughout much of Europe. They also inhabit the Atlas Mountains of Northern Africa. The red deer, they occupy a range of habitats, including grassland, woodland, and upland moors. Number three, the wapiti deer. The elk, or wapiti, is the second largest species within the deer family and are one of the largest terrestrial mammals in its native range of North America and Central East Asia. Elk inhabit a wide range of habitats, from open areas such as marshy meadows, grasslands, river flats, and aspen parkland to coniferous forests. Number four, the mule deer. The mule deer is a deer indigenous to Western North America. It is named for its ears, which are large like those of the mule. They are brownish gray in color, have a white rump patch, and a small white tail with a black tip. The mule deer, they move between different habitat types, but seem to prefer arid, open areas, and rocky hillsides. Number five, the reindeer. The reindeer are a type of deer, although in North America they are called caribou. Reindeer are native to Northern Europe, Siberia, and North America. Reindeer are the only species in deer family where both males and females grow antlers. Their habitat includes tundra areas and boreal forest. Number six, the fallow deer. The European fallow deer, also known as the common fallow deer or simply fallow deer, is an elegant, medium-sized deer with a typically spotted coat. Fallow deer are widespread across England, Wales, Southern Scotland, and Ireland. They favor broad-leaved woodland, grassland, and parkland. Number seven, the roe deer. The roe is a slender, medium-sized deer. The roe deer has short antlers and no tail. It is mostly brown in color, turning reddish in the summer and darker gray in the winter. The roe deer can be found in mixed areas near forest edges, high grass meadows, farmlands, and heathlands located throughout Europe and Western Asia. Number eight. The tufted deer. The tufted deer is a small species of deer distinguished by a conspicuous black hair tuft on its forehead. The tufted deer is found mainly in China where it occurs in the south from eastern coast to eastern Tibet. The tufted deer prefers thick, dense forest, mostly in hilly or mountainous areas. Number nine, the chittle deer. The chittle, also known as the axis deer, are a small medium-sized species. Their coat color is variable, but is often dark to rusty red with uniformly marked white spots and lines along the body. They have a distinctive white throat patch and a dark muzzle. The coat color of the inner legs and underside of the belly is white beige. Chittle inhabit open deciduous forests and grasslands throughout much of Indian subcontinent and Sri Lanka. Number 10, the barking deer. The Indian munchak is also commonly called the barking deer due to the bark-like sound that it makes as an alarm when danger is present. The barking deer are found in India-Malayan countries and also found in China, Japan, and Nepal. Their habitat includes areas of dense vegetation, rainforest, and they like to be close to a water sources, 